hearts by homing in on social media, pretty much stalking their children's Facebook pages or Twitter accounts for any pictures and updates. But parenting experts say you might be doing more harm than good. Liz Dollum helps us cut the cord. College is an exciting time for the entire family, especially for that freshman student. But with technology now, parents can stay in touch all the time. What's too much and what's enough? It's the worst day of my life and the best day of my life. <laughs> but I'm a, a smother, not a mother. Freshman move-in day seems to be harder on the parents than the students at Stony Brook University. This is my baby going off, so... You've done this before, but it's yep, so hard. It, it's hard. <laughs> but with technology and social media sites, we can be in constant contact. Are you his friends on Facebook? Can you monitor his activities? I can and I will be, and you better be in the library. <laughs> Erica Katz, a parenting expert, told us via Skype, students should set the communication ground rules. Moms and dads don't want to be what calls a helicopter parent constantly hovering. It's okay for parents to look up their kids' account on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but it's not okay to comment on their pictures or what they're doing because that could really embarrass them. And parents, if you do it, I guarantee you, your kids will block you. When it comes to calling and texting, parents should respect their child's space. It's really important for parents to understand that texting every single day or every hour can be very disruptive to their kids, especially because your kids are in class, they're making new friends, and then they get a text from mom. It's just not cool. Are you going to be cool with your mom checking in every now and then? Yeah, like it's her job. Try to avoid over-communicating. College is a time for students to make their own decisions and transition from children to adults. They have to make their own mistakes. So it's so important to let them go and take your cue from them. You want to raise independent kids, not dependent kids. We have to cut the cord and she's got to start life now.